let's take up a question on bank reconciliation statement now this is a question in which the favorable balance as per the pass book is given and we have to arrive at the balance as per the cash book now this is the question prepare a bank reconciliation statement as on 30th september 2013 as per the following information bank balance as per the pass book 10000 checks deposited into the bank but no entry was passed in the cash book 500 checks received and entered in the cash book but not sent to the bank 1200 credit side of the cash book bank column cash short 200 insurance premium paid directly by the bank under the standing advice 600 Bank charges entered twice in the cash book 20. Checks issued but not presented to the bank for payment 500. Checks received entered twice in the cash book 1000. Bills discounted dishonored not recorded in the cash book 5000. Now we have to prepare a bank reconciliation statement here. Now first of all let's make the format of the bank reconciliation statement. <coughs> Bank reconciliation statement as on 30th September 2013. The particulars column amount here. Yeah. So particulars amount details. <coughs> And this is the final amount. Particulars, amount, details and amount here. Now first of all, mm, sorry, I'll just write it once again. Yeah, now the first thing, balance as per the passbook, which is given. That's 10,000, so that will come here in the account amount. Now let's take up each transaction. Remember, whatever transaction increases the cash book balance should be added, and whatever transaction decreases the cash book balance should be subtracted. Since we are going to find the cash book balance, right? So, first thing, checks deposited into the bank but no entry was passed in the cash book. So, when checks are deposited into the bank, the checks are collected and the amount gets added into the bank. So, bank balance increases but the checks, but no entry was passed in the cash book. So, it was not entered in the cash book at all. So, the cash book balance is less and the Passbook balance is more. So, cash book balance is less. This should be deducted. Right? Okay. So, I will uh, put two things here. In this less, I will write checks deposited but not entered in cash book right okay hmm. uh, so that is the amount is 500 rupees so that will come here 500 fine now let's go back to the second uh, item checks received and entered in the cash book but not sent to the bank checks have been received and they have been entered in the cash book means the cash book balance increases it has not been sent to the bank so obviously the passbook balance is still less so again here the cash book balance is more, right? So this should be added, fine. Checks received and entered in the cash book but not sent to the bank. So I'll put it like this. Checks received but not sent to bank. 
the amount here is <coughs> 1200 so that should be put here 1200 right now the next one <coughs> credit side of the cash book bank column cars short now the credit side of the cash book bank column contains all the payments right now when the credit side of the cash book bank column is cast short means the payment side has been cast short by 200 rupees which means the cash book balance is more right which means the cash book balance is more since the payment is being shown as 200 rupees less whereas the The cash book balance is more here since we have not shown this payment whereas in the bank the payment has already been made right okay so 200 rupees will be less in the bank whereas in the uh, cash book it is higher by 200 rupees so this 200 rupees should be added fine so here I'll write credit side of cash book cast <coughs> short this increases the cash book balance the amount is uh, 200 rupees right so this is 200 here then Insurance premium paid directly by the bank under the standing advice. So when the insurance premium is paid directly by the bank, the bank balance becomes less, whereas the cash book balance is still more. So that should again come in the add, right? So insurance premium. paid directly by the bank okay. paid directly by bank the amount is 600 rupees so that 600 comes here fine ok now the next one bank charges entered twice in the cash book so bank charges entered twice in the cash book means the actual bank charges is 20 rupees whereas in the cash book it has been entered twice so it has been entered as 40 rupees there so the uh, cash book balance goes down by 20 rupees is less by 20 rupees so the cash book balance becomes less by 20 rupees so it should be deducted here right so this is bank charges 20 rupees Now, checks issued but not presented to the bank for payment. When you issue checks, it is deducted from the cash book, right? It's entered in the cash book. So, the cash book balance decreases but not presented to the bank for payment. So, bank balance is still higher. So, here the cash book balance is less. So, cash book balance is less. It will come here. What is the amount? 500. So, here we can write. Checks issued but not presented, right? Because led to a decrease in the cash book balance, so it is to be deducted 500 rupees. Checks received entered twice in the cash book. When you receive the checks, the check has been received for rupees 1000, but it has been entered twice in the cash book. So the cash book balance increases by 1000 rupees basically, right? It should have been 1000 rupees but in the cash book it is put as 2000 rupees now. So it is more in the cash book by 1000 rupees, right? In the cash book it is 2000 whereas in the bank it is only 1000, remember that, right? Checks received entered twice in the cash book. You put it as 2000 in the cash book whereas when the check is actually collected it is only 1000 rupees so there is a difference of 1000 rupees so the cash book balance is more by that 1000 rupees right 
so the cash book balance is more it should be added right so here you can write checks entered twice thousand and then the last one bill discounted dishonored not recorded in the cash book so a bill discounted with the bank it has not been met it has been dishonored not recorded in the cash book so when it gets uh, dishonored the bank balance decreases there but it has not been recorded in the cash book so the cash book balance is still more so here you will write bill discounted dishonored so that is 5000 that's all so these are the entries now we have put all of them in the add and list items right now let's see the total of this add items and the total of this right so here it is uh, 1200 plus 200 plus <coughs> 600 right so 1200 plus 200 plus 600 plus 1000 plus 5000 that comes as 8000 rupees right 8000 so that 8000 is put here and this is added first right so this is added this is 18000 10 plus 8 18000 and now the less items this is 1020 this is 1020 so from 18,000 we have to deduct this 1020 fine so when you do this here you get eighteen thousand minus one thousand twenty is sixteen thousand nine eighty. The sixteen thousand nine eighty is the uh, balance as per the cash book, right? This is your answer. So here you can write balance as per cash book is this 16980 right so this is how we will do this question fine the transaction which increases the cash book balance is added and the transaction which decreases the cash book balance is deducted finally you arrive at the balance as per the cash book right so hope you have understood this. With this I come to the end of this session. Bye.